Welcome to the Lifetime Assembly Channel. My name is John, and today I'm gonna to help you assemble your outdoor glider bench. Before we begin, make sure the model number of your bench is listed in the description below. This video follows the steps outlined in your assembly manual that comes with the bench. If you've already begun and need help on a specific step, check the description or comments below for a timestamp associated with each step. Now let's take a look at what's inside the box. There are steps within this assembly that require more than one person, so be sure to have at least one other adult available to help. Before we begin the assembly process, let's take a look at the tools you'll need to complete the job. All the required tools are included with the hardware, but to make this easier, we're going to use a drill. You may see us use an impact driver. If you decide to use one as well, be sure not to over torque or over tighten the hardware. A 10 millimeter socket, an eight millimeter socket, an eight millimeter crescent wrench, a four millimeter hex head socket, and a socket adapter. This video is meant to be a companion to the assembly manual and not a direct replacement, so for the best results, make sure to have the assembly manual available during the build. It's also crucial that you refer to the assembly manual to review the safety instructions for this build to prevent serious injury or property damage. All right, let's get started. Hacer clic en la esquina inferior derecha de este video para ver los subtítulos en español. Start by sliding the cross supports on the legs. Secure the cross supports to the legs with the hardware. Repeat for the other side. Attach your bearing arms oriented like this to the legs. Be careful not to over tighten the hardware, otherwise the cap nuts can break. Connect the right arm to the seat panel. The front edge of the seat panel slopes down and the back edge of the seat panel slopes up. To make sure you have the correct arm, the pole that extends out needs to be on the same side as the back edge.
connect the other arm to the opposite side of the seat panel using the same method as before. Attach the backrest to the extended poles on the arms, making sure the curved edge is on the top. The short bolt will go through the top hole and the long bolt will go through the bottom hole. The powder coating might make this a tight fit, so twist the screw until it's all the way through the hole. Place the seat over the legs and attach the bottom of the arms to the bearing arms. Be careful not to over tighten this hardware. There may be excess powder coating on the bolt. So to avoid cross threading, start by finger tightening the nut. Thank you for watching this video on how to assemble your lifetime outdoor glider bench if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. For more content like this, subscribe to our channel. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to our customer service team and check out our other awesome products at lifetime.com.